questions all the time on how I start my kids on solid food and Kovacs is a year and a half now so he's eating a lot of food and we really just feed our kids what we eat we don't do like the separate different kinds of foods really um, we just all enjoy food together are you gonna do a braid in your own hair? no <laughs> I'm just combing it for fun mm. you want me to comb your hair? um sure okay. start from the bottom because I have a lot of hair, Scout. Lately when I make plant milk, we do almond and hemp combo with just a few dates, a little bit of vanilla, pinch of salt, lots of water, blend. And then I also like to add fresh coconut milk. You can add like canned full fat coconut milk to that as well. And it's such a creamy, delicious plant milk. You riding your skateboard. Nice, Colfax. He figured out a way to not get his knees scraped by keeping his knees up. <laughs> Good job, Kofi. <laughs> wow, Colfax. Go. Woo! <laughs> Do it again. Woo! Okay. Wanna go again? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Two, three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Go. Go. <laughs> Go. Go. <laughs> Get a little more in the coffin. Oh, nice Get a little more in the coffin. Can you help mommy? Can you put it in? You put some in the blender? We're gonna make a smoothie, a yummy smoothie. Yeah. yeah. Push it in. Go. Oh. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Got some frozen banana. Put it in the blender. Mm. And then some mango. Go. 
Good job. How cold? Is it cold? Now we're gonna add some hemp seeds. Buy? Wanna buy the mango? <laughs> Stand up. Stand up. Yeah. Good job. Cheers. He likes mommy's cup. Hello, oh, buddy. Mm, nice and cold. Is it cold? You can't decide which one he wants. Bye bye. Bye. Special delivery. Oh. <laughs> 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 still in here. Ah, my name. I'll oh, take it back into the kitchen. some new Brooklyn sheets and I'm very excited about it. Brooklyn was found on the philosophy that people deserve simple, beautiful home essentials without the luxury markup. And they're having the biggest sale of the year for Black Friday, so click my link below to get 20% off their sheets and other products. You spend one third of your life in sheets, don't you want them to be insanely comfortable? And while the classic and luxe hardcore bundles cost between $200 and $250, depending on the size of your bed, comparable luxury sheets can cost $400 plus. To me, making my home beautiful and comfortable is one of my favorite forms of self-care. And instead of buying individual items, you can get a hardcore bundle, which saves you 25%, and you get a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. And you can choose to mix and match from over 25 different colors and patterns to fit your particular style. So I got a new color of the best-selling Lux Sateen sheets, and they are the ultimate bedding upgrade. They feature a luxurious 480 thread count, they have a slightly luminous finish, and they are Ocotec certified. And you guys, they are so soft. I love the color white. Last time I got a gray, a charcoal I think it was, and I'm just excited to have all white because I just naturally gravitate towards white, but it was fun to do the charcoal gray like every once in a while. I just love having super soft sheets. I'm so excited. I love the sheets. Yes. So I am going to wash these sheets first, and then I'll put them on. sheets on for real. It's, we mean business. We mean business, Colfax. Uh, oh, what the? <laughs> are so soft. I have slept in Brooklyn sheets for the last year now and I can tell you without a doubt they are insanely comfortable. I highly recommend these sheets. What? What? How? You want to read it? Yeah. Mama? Don't you remember? <sighs> when I'm sleepy, when I'm sleepy, sometimes I wish I could curl up in a basket or crawl into a cozy cave and sleep all winter. That's a bat. 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 That's an owl. Hoo hoo. Or perched on the branch of a tree. When I'm sleepy, my eyelids keep falling shut. I'm so glad I can go to sleep in my very own bed. <laughs> Should we read it again? Yeah. When I'm sleepy. Yeah, <laughs> And then they're like, go, go. And then, nice. All right, Kovacs is down for a nap. Andrew took the other kids on errands and also Scout has ballet after that. I'm just gonna make myself a salad 
picking some arugula from our garden. I love arugula in my salads. I don't really want to do like the whole salad being arugula because that's super strong, but having a little bit of spicy greens with tender lettuces, oh, it's just so good. As well as like adding herbs to it. So I'm gonna pick some basil as well. I wish that we had planted cilantro, but we need to plant some soon because that is also really good in salad. A lot of people have been asking me to make more what I ate today videos and I just haven't made any for a while because to be honest, I've been eating like a plant-based vegan diet for 15 years now. And the last like, I don't know, four or five years or so, it's been pretty consistent with the same like style of eating a wide variety of whole plant foods i do lots of green smoothies because i love to get the dark greens in if you followed me for any amount of time you probably know that and i love salads i love um getting just all the all the goodness right whole grains beans legumes lots of fresh fruit I, we love eating lots of fresh fruit and so it just kind of feels redundant, right? To like show it over and over again, but I haven't shown Colfax eating before. I've shown, I think, most of my kids what they ate when they're like around this age. And all of my kids have been raised on a plant-based diet and are thriving. And it's just such a beautiful thing to feed your children nutrient-dense and nourishing foods from the ground, from plants. And I have breastfed all of my babies until they're like at least two years old or around two years old and it just depends on each one's been like a little bit different but that's basically where we're at how beautiful are these greens i love the smell of arugula i wish you guys could smell it through the screen oh how pretty the okinawan purple sweet potato so good. Often called just like a Japanese sweet potato. This is gonna be so delicious in the salad. And then when Kovacs wakes up, I'm sure he'll want some. And he'll probably want some avocado toast. He loves avocado toast. And we lately have been eating sourdough bread. But we like to mix it up. Sometimes we do like the sprouted wheat. Cannot go wrong with these vibrant colors. <laughs> tomatoes they're ripe when they're like orange on the bottom like this one orange or red they're so juicy oh my gosh I can't even tell you how sweet these are the closer you can get to ripeness with eating picked produce especially something like tomatoes the better they taste perfect dressing when you pair it with sauerkraut or lemon juice. And I like to add beans and potatoes to my salads to make it a really hearty meal. So I love to be satisfied off a big salad. And you definitely want to add those high calorie plant foods into your salads, like avocado, different kinds of beans. My favorite is garbanzo beans in a salad. And chopped baked potatoes. Or having those on the side too could be really good. To show you how much I so never mind I won't be feeding these potatoes to Kovacs because I put way too much pepper on them for Kovacs to enjoy them but that's okay because I'll probably make him avocado toast when he wakes up a lot of times I'm so busy with the kids and busy with work that I'm like Ugh, I just don't want to spend the energy on like making a fresh meal and I'll just grab leftovers which is still great too and still like nourishing for you obviously because we're making really healthy dinners at night like curries and soups and um, pastas with lots of veggies in them but it just feels so good to make a fresh salad and I never regret taking the time to make a really filling salad. Oh, that looks 
looks really good. I'm trying to do this with one hand because the fax wants to be held right now. Want a bite? Here. Mmm. Bye. Mmm. Is it good? So Kofax has his avocado toast. I'm gonna put some garbanzo beans on there and call it a snack.